in this class I'm going to work on the soul so now we don't have any details here so let's see how we can do or how we can create some details here for that I want some images so I have downloaded some images here as you can see uh, I have some images you can download these kind of images by googling just type so soul design or something like that and you can see here uh, these are these are the soul patterns I'm gonna use this one so for this one I need proper UV so let's go here and select this soul okay then go to the geometry tab here and go to the lowest division levels now as you can see it has the details but now it I don't want this I want the second subdivision levels because I'm getting a good flat area till here. So let's go to the second subdivision levels and delete lower. I don't want that first division levels there. So this now this is my new lowest division level. Now let's take this division level as just export it as an OBJ. And let's export to any folder here. Soul base OBJ. Save this yes okay so once i export the plan is i'm going to change the uv of this in maya then i'm going to again bring this back to this division level i can do that okay so let's go to maya now and let's import that model import that obj that's here inside zebra's file so soul base obj okay import it okay great so now we have the soul here and let's correct the ev of this so now we don't have any evs i believe if i go to ev ev editor here you can see we don't have anything here so let's first select the bottom faces here go to face mode here here i'm working on my tablet so it's a little bit slower go to right view okay select the bottom faces like this just the sole area okay now let's go to the uv planner mapping and reset it choose y axis and turn on this option keep image with height ratio project it now it's gonna project from y axis from top down and we can see the EVs now here so let me turn on this option so that you can easily see it okay now great just select everything by UV mode and just just unfold it shift right click unfold it let's help them a little bit straight it like this scale them manually try to use this full area because we are going to get good amount of resolution there okay great so now this is my UV let's take the snapshot of this go to polygons UV snapshot and let's take the snapshot here Okay, so let's take the snapshot here. Let's say this is soul UV snap, anything like that. Okay, now I'm going to do it 1K. So 1K texture, that's fine, 1024. And now it's in PNG format, that's fine. So let's, okay. okay now you can see it's red that means I have some problem here so it's because of I am in UV mode and I'm trying to take the UV snapshot so go to object mode it should be select like this in object mode while you are taking the snapshot so make sure that so let's soul UV 
snap now it's png let's okay the ev part is done now i have to export this ev mesh now it has ev so let's export this model again to obj just overwrite on that previous one export yes okay now let's go to givras and on this division level stay on this division level import it it's gonna replace this division level so you are gonna still get the highest division levels this is the magic here so we can anytime we can replace its particular division level or the base level so select now this is the new obj which has the uvs so open it now okay it's gonna taking time here to okay okay great now we have evs here uh, to prove that i can go here to to ev map category and you can click on morph if it has see it's it's morphing to that ev ev safe okay so great now we have evs now we need to set that texture in photoshop according to that ev so let's go to photoshop here and let's open our ev snapshot we take from maya so show ev snapshot okay here is the ev snapshot let's give it a background layer so i can't see it properly so let's give some gray color so that you can see the uv lines there oh just as you can see here okay let's bring the texture as well means the sole image which we want to use here so let's import that as well okay great so now let's take this let's copy one one sole first copy it here drag here I don't need it anymore just delete it and here you can see I can do one thing it has white here so I can just select it and change it to multiply so the white part is gone okay great now let's select it and now it's the matter of just you no know, set it with this EV area so let me do that by using control T and scaling overall overall scale it to get the size there okay and you can see the tip is touching here the bottom is here close to there but i need width there so let's go and stretch a little bit so that we can just reach there overall okay great but still the, the proportion of the shoe is not matching with the uv we can do one thing we can just right click here in this transform area and go to wrap and you will get you will see this kind of lattice kind of thing and drag these points to you know adjust the images there as you can see i'm wrapping the image to fit with the ev okay underneath select it and in this area just enter it to get out of the wrap okay select this area just this area by just using this mercury tool and let's again press ctrl t and right click and go to wrap so you'll get a wrap around here and let's adjust this now the basic point is you should somehow make it seamless here and just just match with this ev lines there so i'm looking at this border black area as a guide so just okay 
as you can see my angle is changing there just make sure it's seamless here and okay it's seamless there it's going outside a little bit okay i'm done here and now we just need to copy it so once i turn with one piece let's press ctrl j to duplicate this layer and ctrl t to bring the transform and just choose right click and just flip horizontal then you can press shift and go to this move tool move it and set here as well Here, as you can see, it's not exactly matching with this. You may need to rotate a little bit to match with this UV. It's not exactly matching, but fine. I can just adjust a little bit. Okay, I think it's fine. I'll save this image as my texture or JPEG just to JPEG soul EV soul alpha okay so save it okay make sure you have 50% gray on the background I think I have 50% gray yeah you can see it's exact 50% just keep 50 in black area and edge and s are zero okay here it's complete the texture so let's see in the next lesson how we can use this texture in gbrush as to create the shoe, shoe sole so see you there guys